Yeah, a couple of drinks to your boss at your own friend's house there, they have a bunch of shit you guys are down here. Thanks a lot. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just turned off. Compared to the American Air Force recruits, about the same? It's comparable, just about the same. What number did you have? Uh, we started uh, with 100 uh, in the first group last October. Of that 175 uh, went on to English language training. 21 were recycled for additional English language training, and, and four have dropped out. We made up the 25 uh, shortage by moving 25 people forward from the second group that learn English, the English language a little faster. What were the reasons for dropping out? Uh, medical and uh, just no hope at all of ever learning English language, no aptitude to learn a language. Why is it important for them to speak English? Most of the uh, technical data that they will be using in their country uh, is published in English. After they leave here, they'll be going on to a U.S. Air Force technical training school, and of course, uh, they'll be mixed right in with the U.S. Air Force people, and if they don't know English, they won't be able to compete. So it's an integral part in, in the continuing of their training? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Is the dropout rate with the Saudi Arabian basic about uh, comparable to that of the American trainee? Let me try it again. <clears throat> Would you say that the basic... Is the dropout rate with the Saudi Arabian basic trainee comparable to that of the U.S. basic trainee? Major Mills, how do the Saudi Arabian recruits compare with the American recruits? Now that these men have completed their basic military training, they will stay here and go back to more English language training. That will consist of 11 weeks. Paul Schaefer, reporting from Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio, Texas. Mohammed A. 
And now with the completion of their basic military training, these men will stay here on the base. They will receive more English training. That will be 11 weeks of English language training. Paul Schaefer reporting from Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio, Texas. Now that these Saudi Arabians have completed their basic military training, they will continue their English language training. Eleven more weeks of that in store for them. Paul Schaefer reporting from Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio, Texas. Now that these Saudi Arabian young men have completed their basic military training, they will go back to... Now that these young men have completed their basic military training, they will go back to... Now that these young men have completed their basic military training, they will go on to the next phase, and that is more English language training. Eleven weeks of that in store for them. Paul Schaefer reporting from Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio, Texas.